Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at what I consider to be the best troll robot in the game currently, and that is the Stalker with Gust Weapons. And I have that loaded up uh, in my lineup right now. Haven't brought it out yet. <laughs> um, I actually nicknamed it the Ankle Biter because it reminds me a lot of a Chihuahua dog. So that's what I sometimes uh, refer to it as. I'm trying to actually wear down uh, this Lancelot here by uh, locking onto him and bending my scourge around my shield it allows me to actually fire uh, with my shield in front just looking to see where these guys are and uh, what they're running in actually too so I'm trying to see if they are going to be uh, pushing for center here and I'm gonna make my way into center and see if I can perhaps get this guy looks like he's going to uh, he's gonna try take me out <laughs> But you know what? We've already got the center beacon, so that's good. I'm uh, just waiting to get close here so that I can burn him up with my scourge. And he should almost be out. There we go. Whoa! This is not what I expected. <laughs> I dropped in and I'm right next to these guys. So let's put the ankle biter to the test. I'm trying to <laughs> get this guy here. They had multiple guys. I just dropped in and these guys were right here. That's so funny. So now I have to uh, actually wait because I've used my uh, stealth ability already. Uh, one thing with the gust weapon, you need to get very, very close. Um, 100 meters or less, um, especially with this build because you only have uh, two gust weapons uh, to work with. So I'm going to go into a stealth now, help my teammates uh, out and see if I can get rid of this player here. The ankle biter. <laughs> and uh, run. Run! <laughs> oh, those Orkins are gonna wipe me out if I'm not careful. So I'm gonna try to see if I can actually run in between the buildings here so that uh, this guy doesn't get me because I think he wants to target me. So I'm waiting for my stealth and I'm gonna go into stealth again. Oh shoot! Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> here we go! The ankle biter! Let's go! <laughs> So let's see if we can take out another player. Couple of guys we've taken out so far. Kind of looking around the corner here to see what these guys are in. One thing you've got to be so careful of is shock trains. That's one thing that will just ruin your day. So I'm going to try to see if I can perhaps uh, hit this guy. A couple of times he's still hitting me. Even though, um, you know, I'm in stealth. If you are actually far enough back um, you know from a stalker or anyone who is in stealth you can actually hit them still while they're in stealth uh, which is exactly what that guy was doing I'm trying to actually get close here but I'm seeing a lot of um, splash so it means these guys probably have like Orkins or something but let me see if I can try to get closer here at least uh, try to take this guy out come on come on one more shot yes <laughs> I've only got one one gust weapon so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, once this game is done I'm going to try to run um, another game where I run um, the Stalker with Gust. I kind of wish that I had uh, two of these because it's a lot of fun to use. Holy crap, I've got 662 health. I might as well run out into the open now at this point. And uh, let's see, they have a lot of guys stacked up on that right side. I don't think we're going to actually win this. It's not looking good. But we did have a lot of fun with the Stalker and that's all that matters. So let's see if we can perhaps take down some of these guys here we actually need to get this uh, right beacon but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough uh, in order to uh, take oh wait this guy's got uh, Talambus so I'm gonna fire here on the side maybe he will walk into my ember I'm just trying to push this beacon uh, because we need beacons pretty bad here and I may actually sacrifice this uh, to center as well trying to take that guy out oh man I'm gonna get smoked oh <laughs> trying to see if I could survive there yeah we don't have that much uh, time left here we need to get into center or get another beacon very quickly before uh, this game ends so I'm just gonna make a push uh, to center here hopefully my uh, teammate will follow through uh, not not enough time 
But uh, anyways, that's game number one uh, using the ankle bite, and that's the stalker with gust weapons. Uh, unfortunately, my my gust weapons aren't Mach 2, but I think I will be doing that uh, in the future. Anyways, uh, let's see if we can get uh, another game in here, maybe a different map. And uh, yeah, let's see how we can do uh, in game number two. Okay, so game number two, we have dropped in on moon map and this is domination mode. So we don't have to worry too much about players uh, dropping in right next to us uh, near a beacon. Just gonna move across here to make sure that we uh, push for this beacon here. I'm assuming one of these guys probably has a uh, shock trains or something. Let's see if I can perhaps wear down this player. Oof, that guy's taking on a lot of damage. I just want to move across here so that we have this beacon and then I'm going to uh, fall back a little bit. Let me just lock onto this player. There's a player up top there too. I'm not sure what... Oh, it's a Fury. Let's see if we can perhaps get this uh, Lancelot here. He's uh, making his way towards our beacon. Almost got him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I almost uh, was taken out there. I think maybe I might be able to corner shoot here. Let me just try see if I can hit this guy. Just trying to play this effectively because I only have 15,000 health here. See if I can wear them down. I will do that. So we have, um, oh geez, we have a guy on the side there. I didn't see him. Just trying to see uh, what we're dealing with. I think I'm going to drop in with uh, the stalker here and see if I can perhaps maybe attack. I'm thinking the left side, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, they have a, yeah, they got a, I think that's a fury up top there. Maybe I should go, I don't want to go down below there because that one player has shock trains and one thing you've got to be very careful of when running this build is a, uh, anyone who's running shock trains so these guys are in Hechi I'm just looking to see what the range of that uh, fury is back there uh, he is 550 meters so I think I'm gonna take the long route around and go all the way around here and see if I can perhaps peek around the corner here to see what these guys are in this guy's getting very close here he's like 200 meters away from me and I think he's actually in a Lancelot, so I'm going to lock on here. And I'm going to move as close to him as possible. And go into stealth. Okay, I'm in stealth here. Let's go for it. I'm going to go really, really close to him so he can't hit me. And then I'm going to run circles around him. <laughs> Trying to hit him from the side here. He's now lost his uh, Ansel shield. Come on. There we go. And I almost have my stealth. Come on. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Yes. Let's go for the fury. Got this beacon. Uh, maybe I should run <laughs> run to the left side here because these guys are going to be coming around the corner soon. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to delay this as much as I can. Run to the side so that... Uh, wait until I have my stealth. Hopefully I can use it soon. Come on. One. No. Okay. Oh, jeez. That was a pretty good run, though, uh, with the Stalker. But I just wanted to highlight, you know, the uh, Ankle Biter, the Stalker with Gust Weapons. And um, just showing you how much fun it can be. Uh, you can take down Lancelot uh, pretty easily. Uh, my Gust Weapons aren't even Mark II. So once you get to that Mark II level, you'll be doing 20% uh, more damage. And uh, for those of you that have been asking me, what is Mark II? So Mark II is sort of a enhancement level. Once you get to uh, level 12, uh, you have the uh, option to enhance your weapons uh, further. But you got to be very careful of doing that because essentially you are nerfing it down initially. Uh, only when you get to levels uh, 10 and higher do you start actually doing more damage. And uh, once you get all the way to Mark II uh, level 12, that's when you start doing that 20% uh, uh, increased damage. So uh, anyways, uh, that's pretty much how we stacked up. I managed to get uh, four beacons that round. 
and you saw how I was able to take down uh, that Lancelot with the Ansel Shield and also the Fury and you know unfortunately I wasn't uh, lucky enough to take out another bot but I was pretty close uh, to that uh, but anyways uh, let me know what you guys think of the ankle biter have you been running the stalker gust build and have you been having a lot of fun with that because um, that's definitely one of uh, my guilty pleasures right now and I've been uh, running that quite a few times a lot of fun especially during my live streams Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.